Hello and welcome everybody. In this video I'm going to show the following lemma. Let D be a connected set and let F be the closure of D, then F is connected. So D is an arbitrary subset of a topological space and remember that the closure of the set is defined to be the smallest closed set that contains D. And um, this is the same as the intersection of all closed sets that contain D. And um, this is called F here. So let's prove it. We are going to do a proof by contradiction. We are going to assume that the closure F can be written as a union of two non-empty closed subsets C and well, let's call it C1 and C2. So F is C1 union C2 and C1 and C2 are unequal to the empty set and are closed. which would of course mean that F is not, um, is not connected. And um, if this is the case, look at the following intersections. D intersected C1 and D intersected C2, then the union of these two intersections is nothing but D itself. And since D is assumed to be connected, one of these intersections has to be empty. So without loss of generality, assume that the intersection of D with the set C2 is empty. So this is empty. This means that all of the points of D have to lie in the intersection of D with C1, which um, is the same as saying that C uh, that D is contained in C1. So this is our first conclusion. Um, D is contained in C1. And C1 is a proper subset of F. And now we reach a contradiction because uh, we, de we defined um, F to be the smallest closed subset that contains D. Mm -hmm. And now we have found a smaller subset, namely C1. So we have a contradiction. And um, thus we conclude that indeed our assumption that there was a decomposition of the set F into closed and non-empty subsets C1 and C2 was false. So F is indeed connected. And this concludes our proof. So th thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time.